Hey, free traps, nice. Wait, they got the entire vault over here? That's a dwarven vault. There's another man. Welcome to Dungeons 4. I'm invited there's another man. Well, we are going back to the underground. Talia is already present, so you know what that means. I'm going to try to drown her in lava. This is, of course, the demo version of the game. If you want to give it a try yourself, if you don't want to hear me bubbling in the background, you know what to do. It's gonna be linked in the description below, as always, so... Yeah, go get yourself, because, well, to be honest with you, I've seen the trailers, more or less I know what to expect. It's going to be, well, just as dungeons free, but with more spice, and apparently, well, this time, we'll have to also face dwarves. Finally, a dwarf your opponent. But we'll see about that. Stand. Tanya set about destroying the last remaining heroes. Amongst others, her stepbrother Tristan. Her stepbrother Tristan? Wait, was he present back in the third game? Because I don't really remember him. Of course, we're gonna be playing this thing on the hardest possible difficulty because, well, there's no excitement with a bit of a spice. Let's go. Once upon a time, long, long ago in, hell, well, you know the rest, the absolute evil had, in the fabulous predecessor to this game, taken over the entire overworld with its creatures. Now it spent its time on debauched parties and, wait a minute, the entire overworld? No! One small village of indomitable heroes still held out against the invaders. The unamused evil was beside itself with rage. But all this was about to change once and for all, because the remote control evil sent its most vicious general into the field, the Dark Elf Talia. Well, looks like she got a promotion. Talia, also known from the fabulous predecessor, came back from her vacation in a thoroughly good mood. Before that, she had defeated her foster father, the paladin Thanos. This fact is important to note. Okay? Why is that important? For this last remaining village of heroes was protected by none other than Tristan, foster son of Thanos and Talia's stepbrother. Oh, so that's why I never heard about him. This proud warrior in shining, his handsome heroic chest, accentuating armor, was the last glimmer of hope for the forces of good. Talia, who had fully embraced the dark side, couldn't wait to really kick her stepbrother's ass. And so our story begins. Yeah, nice to see you, Talia. <laughs> Where's the closest river of lava? <laughs> Let's test some things. The last defenders of good were fighting for their survival. This seemed to be the perfect time for Tristan to make his appearance. The last mighty hero of the good races. My brothers, in your eyes I see the same fear that would lead me to despair. The day may come when the courage of true heroes is extinguished. When we abandon our companions and all bonds of friendship are broken. But that day is still far off. Stand fast! Heroes of the West! And with those familiar sounding words, Tristan charged into battle to the cheers of his men. The heroes of good had managed to capture some of the evil creatures. Nevertheless, it was more than questionable whether a few minor victories and a brilliant speech could do anything against the absolute evil's armies. A storm of darkness and gloom descended, heralding the arrival of Talia, the absolute evil's general. This entrance not only panicked the defenders of good, but also seemed to strengthen the creatures of evil. Oh, that's new. Hey, I'm back. Time to kick a little hero butt. Forward, creatures. Show me what you can do. Punch them smack dab in the mouth. Smash them in the face. Oh, and just as a precaution, get me my handbook of worn-out third-rate catchphrases. <laughs> ha 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 If my eyes don't deceive me, that's my stupid stepbrother Tristan over there too just waiting for me to lovingly put his head on a spear ha! today is gonna be a good day Talia seemed to be very sure of victory some might find this puzzling as it was the beginning of a long new campaign but okay maybe the rest of the missions are nothing but a string of debauched victory celebrations who knows 
Is it just me or does Talia have a different voice line this time? Rampart Studios controls basics. Oh, it's good to be back. So, Talia, please tell me that you actually have something. What's this? Talia's consecrated fury. As long as Talia consent fury is active, your creatures will become stronger. What the heck is that? Okay, unit. This is new. So, Talia's level 10. You got spells. Okay, this is going to be confusing. Uh, right, and I'm guessing that- Ah, Tristan's at the very end! Oh, look, we can actually- Oh! Oh, how nice, I can actually check their abilities. Hey, that's pretty dope. Warriors, what does Warriors capable of? Uh-huh, melee attacks. The Priestesses, look at- look at the cute art style. Oh my god! Oh, it's such a pity that we have to decapitate you sooner or later. Oh my god, you're so cute! I'm gonna put your heads in a cauldron, Ghost Rider. Is that your mother? Mighty Storm once again stood at her disposal. Huh? What storm? Huh. A few pitiful opponents. I'm gonna massacre you. Um, if I can just remember how that works again. Fortunately, Talia's instincts took over at this point. Something which wannabe pro gamers often refer to as auto attack. Talia also remembered that she had a few skills that she could invoke whenever she felt like it. Oh, right! Boom! That's how it's done. <laughs> I swear the voice line, the, the voice, the voice, the voice over is a little bit different from the from the original game, is it? Head of Studios, Benjamin Rusher. Okay, here we go. The fuck was that supposed to be? Also, yes, I'm hitting them for 666. <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. Come follow me. Wow, okay, I'm, my spell's a little bit too powerful. Why am I so powerful? What, what, what's the gimmick? Hello! Creature life energy indicates how much life it still, uh, damage it can still take. For more creatures with king experience, once the experience far best leaves in advance. Yes, okay, great. I'm starting to feel that I got... That Talia's a little bit boosted, you know? <laughs> like, she's a little bit too powerful. I wonder why. Hey, um, did someone actually cage my subordinates? Ah, forget that. I'm the only one who's allowed to do that. Time to bust these things open. Pulverize them. Nuke them. <laughs> Give me a minute, woman. I'm working on this. What do we have? Max woman. Bombardier. And the mage. Okay, I wonder how many wizards I'm actually gonna meet and how many dwarves we have to annihilate. Hi, you losers. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> what? You got coughed? You piece of shit. Your creatures have destroyed a cage. Talia had freed all the creatures. Not to be outdone by her stepbrother, she too gave a brilliant speech. Speech? Uh, sure. Creatures! Time to punch the do-gooders right in the kisser! Forward! Punch them in the face, kick them in the shins, break their belt buckles so they trip on their pants. <laughs> hmm, yes, very inspiring. I'm trying to create co control groups, but it's not, not exactly working. Hold on. There we go. Okay, we got the control groups. Let's go. Keep on forward moving, boys! <laughs> Hero boy. I actually wonder why Talia is hitting some. What the heck is this? The oh, banshees! Here we go! Save the banshees! <laughs> How you doing? Okay, fall back! Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back! Nice! You're gonna be on the group 4. Oh, this is a full sp full skilled one over here! I'm coming! I'm Talia coming! Reach the center of battle. With another brilliant speech, she goaded her creatures on one more time. Another speech? Oh. Ding dong, the hero's dead. That okay? Honestly, I don't know if I can work with you like this. <clears throat> <clears throat> After Talia's words, the creatures surged forward and flocked to their linguistically undertalented leader. Or would like to, but the defenses on the left and right flanks made progress impossible. Tanya had to destroy them in order to receive further support. We are destroying everything, shut up! 
It's just gonna take a little while, but I eventually murder every single one of them. My dungeon was so rolled in heads. Well, you have to destroy this shit as well. Okay, Dalia, can you just aim at the enemy over there? Yeah, okay, she's way too powerful. Like, th th this this the feels like the gimmick from the second game. Flank ...could no longer withstand the breaching evil's creatures. This honestly feels like the gimmick from the second game, which was the same thing. You started the game with the actual absolute evil. You could annihilate everything in the tutorial mission because he was just an unstoppable killing machine. And then he died. <laughs> and you were left with nothing, if I recall. So is this the same gimmick? Oh my god, I got a lot of troops. Okay. Ah. The hero's defense collapsed on the right flank. The monstrous evil's creatures flocked to Talia. Excellent. I can always use more cannon fodder. I, I mean, um, loyal subordinates. <laughs> of course, Talia, of course. Right. Oh, look. <laughs> more losers. Stone guards. What else we have? Assassins. Easy. Wardens. Easy. All of those things will be dead soon enough. Just have to wait 10 seconds around. In the meantime, I'm gonna probably try to group my units. So you're gonna be on the two. You're gonna be on the three. You're gonna be on the four. You're gonna be on the five. What the heck is this? What is this? Is this like a warship or something? Holy shit, you look dope. And, okay, whatever you're gonna be. Right, I think, you, I think you're gonna be fine. Okay, tentacle attacks, get ready, and tentacles! Stay put, don't move! <laughs> With one fell spell, I have annihilated all of you! Right, minions, to me! Talia, Charge forward! Uh oh. You dare to show your face here after killing our foster father! Uh, yeah, is that a trick question? You can see I'm here. Thanos deserved what he got, and I thought to myself, hmm, hey, like father, like son. You will pay for your deeds, sister. The light will protect me. Sure it will. I bet it will. <laughs> Stay put, Tristan. Let's find out. Uh-oh. Okay, don't get annihilated by his spells. Oh, shit. Don't get annihilated by his spells. Fuck, 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 fuck. Faster, 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 faster. Ah, shit. No, move to the side, move to the side, move to the side, ladies, move to the side, move to the side. Oh, fuck you, we're too slow. All right, time to guide. Sister, turn from evil and come back to the side of good. No. See the power of light. With these no. words, Tristan was bathed in a golden light that seemed to protect him. As if that were not troublesome enough, a number of magical portals opened at the same time. Huh. As if this wasn't dragging on way too long already. Can't we just jump straight to the point where I greedily take over the world? Forward, creatures! Smash the portals! Flatten that magic junk! Pull the plug! My brothers! In your eyes I see the same fear that would lead me to despair. The day may come when the courage of true heroes is extinguished. When we abandon our companions, and all bonds of friendship are broken. But that day is still far off. Stand fast, heroes of the West! Oh, didn't you spout that same bullshit earlier? In exactly the same words. No, not at all. I am known for my brilliant speeches, wicked stepsister. I seem to remember that whenever you were supposed to speak in front of the class, we had to get a mop. You'll pay for that! Onward, Faithful! Destroy the evil! All the magical portals have been destroyed, and with them, Tristan's shield went up in smoke. <laughs> That's the way I like it. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. I was just about to kick my stepbrother's butt. Jesus, thank Christ, there's so many things happening on the same... On the same thing, on the same moment on the screen! Sister, it doesn't have to end this way. Join me. Together we can still save the world. Oh, can't you just die and spare us all the embarrassing melodrama? Yeah, if that's an option. Did he just kill to fall? Talia, this isn't the end. 
we'll meet again. Unfortunately. Wait, no, don't what let him escape. Next, Tristan quickly created a portal and threw himself through it with the last of his strength. The portal closed again behind him. Treachery, fraud, cheater! This was supposed to be my victory! And what the hell kind of glove is that anyway? Looks to me like game design forgot to balance the thing properly. Maybe the people in charge were still too captivated by your great speech. It brought tears to my eyes too. However, not of emotion. <laughs> As if the bird brains these evil creatures have needed grand speeches. A few skulls to bash in, and the social calendar for the evening is filled. Well, each to their own. <clears throat> but apparently, Tristan had suffered a mishap, as the aforementioned magic glove still lay in the place where it was last used. It would seem that he had accidentally lost it. Ha! <laughs> Wonderful! This thing is just what I need. Tray chic. I'll, um, just grab that right away. And so our story begins. Huh? What was... What's the glove of Thanos doing over here? <laughs> oh, no. To give Tanya the slip, but she had been able to capture his magic glove. The Gauntlet of Finichu, a fabled artifact. Unfortunately, UI overlays don't work in cutscenes, so Tanya couldn't read just exactly what the glove did. Nevertheless, she proudly presented it to the absolute evil in its form as the Dungeon Lord. And so misfortune took its course, because at the same time, Tanya wanted to demonstrate how loudly she could snap her fingers. But this snap, which would go down in the history books as the Dungeon Lord snap, unleashed horrific forces that were discharged into the Dungeon Lord himself. Talia, what did you do? As Talia rose to her feet, the gauntlet had disappeared, and the Dungeon Lord lay dying. Viewers often began to cry at this point, because it made them think back to the last really good superhero movie. Talia mourned for about five seconds. Talia had shattered the realms of good and served them onto the absolute evil on a silver platter, while it had actually done nothing at all. So Talia now became the absolute ruler. She had no clue about how to rule, but more than made up for it with hubris and consistently ignoring glaring problems. In addition, she surrounded herself with a staff of incompetent advisors. What could possibly go wrong? Ten minutes later, Tristan had captured Tanya, locked her in a cage, and put the armies of absolute evil to fight. Good job, Talia! And so the story ends. We'll tell you how the story continues in overpriced microtransaction bites. Oh, wait, wait, wrong script. That's a different developer. Hang in there, I've almost got it. While Tanya was ignominiously taken away, the unused essence of absolute evil continued to float through the ether. It wasn't about to admit defeat that easily, but for evil to triumph once again, it needed Talia back, for better or for worse. And so the swirling essence of absolute evil set about commanding the perplexed-looking chaotic hordes and freeing Talia. Wait, what? Hammer time, round two. The essence of absolute evil held the horde together and rose to the challenge of vicious dwarven engineering. Oh, great! So now I actually have to free Talia, apparently. <laughs> Let's give it a try! <laughs> What's the worst that could possibly happen? Also, uh, yeah, well, the story is uh, precious, developers. How did you manage to make it so that I rose from ultimate victory to, to the bottom once again? Do you know how hard I worked in the previous game to achieve absolute victory over the forces of good? Are you even aware? Let me out of this damned cage, you stupid little good elf! 
Otherwise, I'll have a hard time wringing your scrawny neck. What the hell do you want from me anyway? Talia, stepsister, your deplorable deeds must not go unpunished. You have slain our foster father, Thanos, a blasphemous affront to our goddess, whom you, to top it all off, have also slain. But yeah, that's correct. But we have time to argue on our journey. I am here for the stone. Brynhild, if you please. You know you can, you little cutie. Oi! Go on, you lazy nut. Get that destroyer of worlds class hammer going. Wait, what? I've destroyed that hammer in the previous game. Talia had been captured. Only the bubbling around the place essence of absolute evil could save her. It was amusing to leave Talia in the clutches of her brother. But on the other hand, without her help, the shapeless evil would probably just roam the countryside as a disembodied something or other and at best be hired for third-rate horror movies. Fortunately, a forgotten dungeon heart lying in the underground could quickly be reactivated. Together with the creatures of the Horde, it would be easy to smash the do-gooder heroes there to smithereens. The wafty hey, back to the basics. Rid of that dwarven contraption on the overworld, as it posed a threat to the underground, and with it, the dungeon heart. It was therefore necessary to build a mighty dungeon, or rather, to have one built, because as a wafting essence, the disembodied evil could not do much itself. Ah, back to the basics. It's good to be back on the ground. Also, I just recalled. That there was a draw dwarven faction, I think, back in the previous game. Like, if you uh, if you had to defeat one of the generals, I think one of the first one, you actually had to fight with something similar. There was like a hammer that was banging from time to time, and your, dungeons w your dungeon had to attack, so you actually had to act fast. So what, they're actually rebuilding the same shit from the previous game? <laughs> is that the plot twist? What the fuck is this? Dungeon entrance. Uh, okay. Huh, I am not connected to any dungeon entrance yet. I wonder how that's supposed to go. Alright! Wait until your little snows have exited the area. I am waiting! Gold veins. Yes, 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 yes. Right. So, I want to build myself a mighty dungeon. <laughs> I have a throne room, but I don't have a ruler over here! My father is apparently not present. Uh... Hmm. So, I've dig it out. Ah! Okay, dungeon. Ah, that's how it works. Okay, we need to get a treasury. And what's this? Fine. Put this thing over here. Now, let us. what else we have? Cobble farm. Yes, we're gonna probably need all of that thing. So we got traps over here. The old hungry evil had built a treasury. The meager amount that could be stored in the throne room was simply not even close to enough for a proper gold bath. Hmm, let's get in the middle of the dungeon and makes the throne room uh, along the dungeon three but slightly larger. Throne room. Okay, so this is upgrading the throne room. Alright. Summoning snorts. What's this? Vaults of evilness. Evilness is stored in the e vaults of evilness, which can be used for research. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, build the gobble farm. I'm just gonna go with the with the game basics, why not? We're getting gold! Gold! And we also got some traps over here and other contraptions. Right, they want to get unlock some additional skills for your little snorts. Level 1, when little snort is sl slapped, its speed is greased. Level 2 and above, little snorts can do a short sprout spurt every 45 seconds, but they move 100% faster for 40 seconds. Hey, that's pretty nice. Yeah, but apparently the factions didn't change. So we got the dungeon. The Horde, the Demons, and the Undead. I actually wonder, do we have any actual new units or something like that? We'll see, probably eventually. Eventually, we'll find out. ...had built a gobbler farm. Here, delicious gobblers were raised to serve as food for the Horde. Uh-huh, sure. So... Yeah, probably I need to, like, dig out the rest of this thing. Should I try to dig out the rest of this thing? I'm, I'm digging myself my own grave right now. Treasury. Treasury which includes gold vein increases the rate of mining due to the room sufficiency. Yeah, I figured out that thing on the previous game. Also, love the art style! 
And there he goes. Come on, guys. Dig faster. Slapped. Gobble and rice on the Gobble farm. Both horde creatures and demons are most happy to eat them, satisfy their hunger. Pay attention to the room's efficiency in order to achieve the highest possible Gobble production rate. Missing walls lower the room's efficiency. By the way, you can also slap Gobbles on a little extra evilness. Has been discovered. Oh, that's new. Wait, so I can get evilness by slapping those fuckers? Where's my evilness? This shit? <laughs> okay. What that thing is for? Build a hideout. This six on six. Sure. So how do I get a hideout? Probably have to unlock this thing and ah, there it is. Newly hired horde creatures go to the hideout. Unlocks the hideout, level two healing of the horde creatures in the hideout. Plus 100%. I remember back in the previous game, the undead were basically like the way to go. Each faction, dungeon, horde, demons, undead, uh, has a so called faction research. This research set up maximum level for the creatures. Yada yada. Okay, so same as the previous game. Uh, but yeah, basically, you, you just went with the undead because they were overpowered as fuck. So you didn't have to worry about anything. <laughs> fuck the horde when you have undead. Ah, uh, right. So, I can build more stuff, I guess. Let's see. Yes, get this. Did I just upgraded by mistake? I think I did. Oh, well. A place to rest there. What the fuck is this? Why there's a pool of lava in the underground? Should I be worried? <laughs> Should I actually be worried about this? This is new. I don't recall something like this in the previous game. Right, what else you want from me? Uh, creature's own. Research level 1 Naga. And level one orcs, and now we can actually try to buy something. So hire a naga. Had recruited its first creature, a bit underwhelming considering that it was sitting on the throne of the gods a short time ago. But fresh starts are never easy. The evilest evil could use the hand of terror, not only to intervene but also to lend its little snots the impetus they needed by giving them a spirited slap. The attitude adjusting evil had struck one the of the detestable evil had earned some delicious evilness. Excellent things could be done with it, such as exploring new stuff. However, first, a place had to be found where the evilness could be stored. The absolute evil quickly built a vault of evilness. Each faction uses the damage maximum. Yeah, okay, so this is you have to worry about satisfaction just as the previous previous game. And let's dig out ourselves a new room. Wait till little snows have exited the area. Yeah, I'm working on that. Chill, chill, chill. I'm still looking for like unlimited gold or something. If that's an option game, come on. Don't be shy <laughs> on giving me unlimited gold. Hey, you're building yourself some some bedrooms. Good, good. So just as before, the bedrooms take two by two tiles. It's 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 all back to the basics, boys. It's all back to the basics. Wait, why? It's, well, if I'm gonna improve this thing, ah, it just increases the efficiency. I thought it's gonna be like, yeah, it's gonna be generating automated gold, automatically out of thin air, because we love you, player. Thank you, developers. No problem, mate. Where's my free gold, assholes? Oh well. Uh, anything else? Yeah, we're digging through here. What else? Wait until the snows to get exit the area. Working on that. There's a lot of gold around here. Good. Though I can barely tell the difference between the gold and the normal wall. That's an issue. And you know what? Let's get ourselves some little treasury over here. Just with the losing giggles. Thank you. That will increase the efficiency. I hope. Huh? What's this? I see something there. I want to find out what that is. Right. Slapping the shot with the hand of uh, Chris, its speed for a short time. Slaps do damage. Yes, thanks for the information. Evilness. We have earned some evilness. The stored in the vault of evilness provides there is a room there. Amongst other things, and evilness is earned by defending heroes. Has been discovered. However, there are many other ways to earn evilness. You need evilness to unlock up upgrades, new rooms, or creatures in the research menu. Talia skills requires evilness as well. Well, Right now, we don't have access to Talia. Why is this thing gold? No idea. Uh, okay. You want evilness? I will give you evilness. There we go. Happy now? What the fuck is this? What the hell is this? Gemstone. 
And what do you expect me to do with the gemstone? Is there like some gimmick I'm not aware of? No, seriously, this is a gimmick. Generous evil had built a vault of evilness. This allowed it to henceforth store evilness and use it. Okay. I love the new art style. But being lazy when we could be picking up a little gold while we're here, eh? On you go, lads. Oh. Grab the nearest gold vein. Sooner or later, the greedy dwarves would dig their way into the dungeon. The perfidious evil used a workshop to prepare traps to stop the gold stealing dwarves in their tracks. So the main event this time is gonna be dwarves. Right, level two. Ooh, traps. Okay, anything else you want me to do? So what, I'm free to build this thing whatever I want? Delightful. Uh, three by three. Okay, so this one's going to be. I need to actually make it big, like actual big, big. Technological yeah. progress has almost always been a fine thing. Further research could not only make new units or rooms available, but also increase the maximum number of little snots or creatures. Okay, so what's the deal with the with the dwarven uh, encampment over here, outpost? Like, what I'm supposed to be worried about this? Like, is this important for the plot? Like, can I take care of it or something? What the fuck is that? I don't know. Build that creator mat, build a spike trap, research dungeon level 3, res research gnome. Creatures owns. Okay, so that will give me evilness. Find an exit. Aha, so that's the exit. And destroy the hammer. Yeah, well, in due time, for now, I'm working on different stuff. So, since I know where the exit is, I can dig out for the rest of the dungeon and build myself an empire. Also, it's nice that this time the game. How long is this stone thing going to take, lads? Snookums and I weren't planning on dying of old age here. I sure hope not, because I have a whole different set of plans for just how you lot are gonna die here. Yeah, give me a second, Talia. Working on your freedom. In the dungeon. Eh? The fuck is this supposed to be? <laughs> the, hard the fuck is this supposed to be? Had built a tinkerer's cave. Here, little snots could use the work units to make toolboxes, which were needed for the more extravagant dungeon accoutrements. Can I rotate stuff? Oh, I cannot. Oh, that's a disappointment. Right, they're still digging through, so I got I got some time. Why there is I found a little oasis in the underground! How nice! A little water puddle! I can get some fishes maybe here, something else! Uh this thing just showed up. What the fuck is this? Okay, traps. Yes. So how do I get traps? Aha! Uh -huh. Spike traps. Spike traps. What the what's the bloody difference? Oh, because this one a small one. Small slime trap. Soft trap requires research. Spike trap. Ooh. Oh, this one's really a big one. Sure, why not? I love it if you guys could actually build it. Build like a spike trap. I am trying. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it before they're gonna get to me. I mean, I could try, but... I don't think that's going to work. We're gonna probably need some more creatures. Yeah, let's get four more orcs. And you know what? Let's let's just get the ratio one to one. Pick you up, pick you up, pick you up, pick you. No, 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 no. Pick you up, pick you up. Something dug into my little goat, boy. Yeah. And it had to be stinking orcs. Whose skulls are at best used as toilet paper holders in the lavatory. Okay, boys. Tear this joint to the ground! Dwarves had opened a passage into the dungeon. The little snots immediately executed Order 67, as they had been instructed to do by Talia in such a case, which meant that they ran through the dungeon with their arms flapping wildly. At the same time, they opened the secret trap cache, so that the tricky evil could give the dwarves a very warm welcome. What now? Even some important hints in the game, you should definitely have a look at them. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the information. Did you little honey buns forget your little baby bottles? 
Or how did you manage to lose to a bunch of lousy orcs? <laughs> but boy, what the fuck? I have some reinforcements here. Reinforcements? Attack! Obviously, the danger from the dwarves had not yet been neutralized. Luckily, the little snots had made a few traps in their spare time, and they were only too happy to make available to the all-consuming evil. Hey, a few traps, nice. Wait, they got the entire vault over here? That's a dwarven vault! Gold hunting dwarves are spreading through the underground and digging up veins of gold. Areas behind dwarven doors are magically secured. You cannot drop creatures there. That's why you should always submit this through dwarven doors. Destroy the dwarven great hall, take it out and unlock any connection dungeon gates. That's new! Okay, let's see how the fucking trap is going to work. Hi! Welcome to the jungle! Oh, well, effective, I guess. Right, can I get a list of my creatures, please? Ah, there you go. Drop them in! Hit the Nagas! Drop them in! Start hitting, you assholes! We don't have time, move it! Alright, in the meantime, I'm going to set up some fucking traps, because why not? Thrasher was a very powerful trap. Just waiting to slap several heroes to Nirvana at the same time. You little snorts built a hamster wheel of death to fend off dwarves. The what now? How does that work? Well, I can build this shit. I cannot... I cannot build it anywhere. What the hell? Requires an adjusted wall. I... okay? How? Oh, the, oh. The hamster wheel of death stood <laughs> ready. The little snot inside kept a watchful eye out for arriving heroes. So they are actually digging out my gold. My gold! My gold! So the question is, do they actually like train units and attack me at some point? No idea. Okay, that's the elevator. Right. Sure. Ooh. Pain of diamonds. <laughs> That's exactly the thing I was looking for. <laughs> Thank you very much, developers. Much appreciated. I think they're sending another attack wave. There's a motherfucking dwarf riding a goddamn goat. Yeah, come ne next to the trasher. Hello. I forgot I actually how to activate this thing on my own. <laughs> Could work a little bit better. Oh, you later on have to repair it. All right. Hamster <laughs> wheel of death. Oh, this one's going to be fun to use. Here we go. Hello. <laughs> oh. Oh, I thought it's going to be a little bit more effective than that. Oh, now I'm disappointed. So let's dig out on the door of the dwarves. Let's knock them down. Let's put their heads on a spike. I have to actually build some more traps, so I will be unearthed in the dungeon. Wait, what? What new idea? Oh, a puddle. A puddle? You call that place that that puddle place a new area? The saw traps blades whirred along the wall, just waiting for bread to slice or heroes, whichever came first. Yes, the life for had been set up and was waiting for heroes who dared to go near the carousel. Oh, I can build traps upon traps. Your trap. One of your oh. creatures has died. I'm sure you're shedding a tear right now as you hire the next three. Later, you may also be able to resurrect these creatures. <laughs> What's one dead creature if it gets one closer to the goal of freeing me? Come on, free me already, you rotten maggots! Okay, why is th why is this so hard to actually kill a bunch of dwarves right now? What is wrong with you people? You should annihilate that group without much of a problem, without a sweat, and yet you're fucking dying right now! Okay, why are you dying? Okay, then there's the traps then. Hi, how you doing? And wait for it, back them in the trap! For some unknown reason to me, I've lost. 
How did I've lost? It's payday. How did I've lost a bunch of fucking <laughs> sweaty <laughs> short dwarves? Back to action. Destroy this one. Good. Uh, I actually need to build one more trap. I don't exactly sure what I'm gonna build that thing. So you know what? Let's 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 try to improvise. Good. One room destroyed. Focus on the flamethrowers in the back. Guys, the flamethrowers in the back, please. Thank you. Yeah, if only you could actually murder them. All right, that's a little bit better under control. I wonder what le what went back so tremendously last time. I have no damn idea. No clue. I don't know, and I don't think I want to know at this point. Right, ooh, I see some more gold over here. <laughs> Mine. All of it. Mine. Hey, you've dug out my gold. You assholes. I actually wonder would they improve their dungeon or something like that. Like, because I've allowed them to dig out so much gold, they're gonna actually get some improvements. Like, they're gonna actually be a little bit more dangerous. Is that the plot twist? Is that the case? Is that what you're trying to tell me, game? Oh, God, you've actually walked out of your little room. How about you gonna focus on the bombardier in the back? No? Nobody? Ah, just my luck. And final one's gonna die? Final one. Oh. Great, more lava. Exactly what I needed. I don't have a bridge! So you guys won. Oh, great, we got some boxes. I could use those boxes for something. No, 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 no. Troops, 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 troops. Get the fuck back here. Nobody told you are free to leave because we right now are not leaving any survivors of this droving encampment Murder them all every single one of them. Whoa, that's a lot of flame And I think they just go for backup. I Believe they just go for backup I'm gonna use some spells later on you remember the gemstone I had over here like the blue crystal I've dropped it into the treasury and that'll give me like around 5,000 gold yeah! <laughs> well, that's exactly the shit I needed. Number of creatures plus two. Yeah, I'm gonna need that shit, and that thing will allow me to keep gnomes. Gnomes are great tinkerer, and surrender are craft powerful bombs. Unfortunately, they are not very strong, so they can't throw those bombs very far. Unfortunately, there is no friendly fire in Dungeons 4. <laughs> so, that's kind of okay, right? Maybe. Goblins. Oh. Huh. You know how to use one. <laughs> One two daggers to really give you a great job. One moment they are pointing out an uh, untied solace, the next you got three daggers stuck in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a bargain. Uh, okay, um, weren't the gnomes supposed to be like building Terminator suits or something back in the previous game? Not quite sure. We're gonna find out, I think, very soon. Right, I can get 10 horde units right now, and that's exactly the shit I'm gonna get. Uh, range, physical, area damage, extremely short range. When the fighter makes enemies more vulnerable to physical damage, we ignore it in combat as long as there are other targets. Yeah, whatever. whatever. You have to drop them over here. Ding dong, it's payday. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, you guys are not ready for combat just yet, alright? Can I drop my creatures over here? Because that'd be hilarious. Yeah, I think I can. No, I cannot. Shit. Okay, wait for them to leave. Drop the forces. Hey, you've you've dropped your axes into the lava. What the fuck? Never mind. Hi, how you doing? Do you enjoy my slowing down pits? Do you enjoy the pits of slime? I think you do. This is some animal amusement, isn't it? Oh well, whatever. Right. Hey, another room down! No, 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 Guys, 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 listen, 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 listen! As the great evil, the mastermind of every fucking possible evil deed. Keep going forward, you losers! Also, don't forget to damage the fucking flamethrower, guys! Thank you! Hey, finally we see some damage! Okay, the goblins were a great idea to recruit. Holy shit! Now that's an awesome idea to recruit. No, 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 before you get in a retreat, there's still one more thing I want you to destroy. The Dwarven Dungeon Heart. Wreck it, destroy it, annihilate it. 
Also, I really enjoy the dwarven architecture. Also, the dwarves are building fucking dungeons in my dungeon. That is ridiculous. Something is taking damage. Ah, fuck, he died. We 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 got casualties. One of your creatures has bit the dust. Yeah, I've noticed. I fucking noticed. There you go. I should be a little bit. Ah, fuck, reinforcements came. Okay. The Bob Frower guys? That are actually really nice to have. <laughs> I should have get more of those. No room in the hideout. Uh, working on that. There we go. That should give me some more room. I think it's safe to say that you can break it completely, right? Uh, are you coming in for reinforcements? So, if I'm gonna attack the dungeon hard, the dwarves are just gonna call for reinforcements for, from every other room? Because that actually be nice to know in the upcoming journeys of Talia the Great. Talia the Adventurous. Goodbye. Oh, there's some one thing. No, 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 no. Focus on the bombardier in the back. Thank you. Now focus on the heart. Destroy it. Dwarves were defeated for the time being. Satisfied, the essence of absolute evil rubs something together that could perhaps pass for two hands together. The all destroying evil had conquered the exit. This left the way to the surface open for its troops. Uh huh. Sure, you can use drop creatures and objects and handle terror. Yes, I know that works exactly as it was in the in the previous game. Well, the heroes are attacking me again, but well, I have better things to do. Drop down the elevator and let's Absolute see. Absolute evil's creatures blinked a little as they stepped into the glaring light of the sun. Finally, they could lay waste not only to the boring corridors of the dungeon, but also to the lush green meadows of the overworld. A thrasher trap not only took out one hero, it also provided any and all surrounding heroes with some nutritious cauliflower at the same time. Cauliflower ears, that is. <laughs> yeah, it took you, took you long enough to actually inform me about the trap, which I built like half an hour ago, but thank you anyway. Hey, why, why, why are my healers are getting attacked? Don't you know that you're supposed to protect the healers? Thank you. Okay, break the tent. The healers are still attempting to go for my traps. Lovely. Welcome, heroes. Welcome. How you doing? What you want to have on your tombstone? The horrific evil had destroyed a camp in the overworld. The defeated heroes ran away crying and tried to entrench themselves behind even higher walls. What walls? You don't have any walls around here. Hi, how you doing? Oh, they got a bombardier. Fuck. Get out of the way. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm getting annihilated. I am. That one guy's getting annihilated. He's so dead. Oh, my God. Healer helped him. Get, get an orc over there. We got someone in the damaging party. Go around, go around, go around, go around, go around, go around, go around. You fall back, you fall back, you fall back. Okay, I'm I'm looking also at the minimap. The dungeon heart is so far not, not in danger. We can manage! Destroy the guy in the rope! Which rope? The buff one! Oh look, there's actually some civilians around here. Villager. <laughs> yeah, sure, you stay put. Nope. Oh, you actually can kill them. <laughs> I thought they're just a decoration! Oh. Huh. Still around! That's annoying! Oh well. Uh, right. Destroy the, destroy the encampment and I think we'll be able to push the- Oh look! A rainbow! Good! Now which way am I supposed to go forward actually? This way? That way? The other way? Payday! Creatures are collecting their pay! No they're not! The okay. evil had destroyed another of the heroes' camps. Screaming at the top of their voices, the survivors took to their heels. Good for them. I have to protect the blueprints, Nukems. Otherwise, the orcs will eventually end up building some decent machinery here. Well then, keep your chin up, Toodles. Brynhild, what are you doing? I thought your dwarves could easily handle a few orcs. Problems, brother mine? Oh, what a shame. I had actually already planned on making myself a tea set out of dwarf skulls. Talia, your evilness truly knows no bounds. These dwarves are part of the Alliance of Good. 
you were also once part of that alliance. I was. I mean, you know, we, we make mistakes in life, brother. Trust me, you're not going to make any more mistakes as soon as I'm gonna be done with you. Okay, keep on eye thinking. Throwing bombs! I really like the gnomes. I really, 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 really like them. Uh, okay, can we get? Can we? Can we send an orc over there to kill the fucking bombardier? An orc! Thank you. Right, deal with that bullshit. Ah, fuck this mother. What? Sheep. Are those explode? Exploding sheep, by the way. They are just approaching. Huh. To the dwarves' oversized hammer lay open. The trembling heroes prepared themselves for the final battle. Yeah, final battle that they're gonna get. The final battle that they're not going to survive. None of you is going to survive this. Uh, flamethrowers in the back. Flamethrowers in the back. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, you have to actually focus on the flamethrowers. Like, once the flamethrowers are down, it's, it's not that hard. Frank away in a circle all day, every day. Okay, good. Wait for the heroes to do their job. And we got another group over there. Is there like actually some boxes around here? Huh. Destroy the hammer. I was waiting for heroes who dared to go near the carousel. Seriously? Do you know that I've set up that trash like I don't know? Yeah, I did actually set it up like half an hour ago. Inspect Susius crates. Oh really? What's in the crates? I want to see what's in the crates. Ooh, gold. <laughs> That's new. Right, anyone else wants to fucking die a horrible death? No? Just those morons? Ah, oh, fuck. Wait, the heroes are coming from the fucking underground now? Oh, that's bullshit! The heroes are using my tactics against me! This is not fair! This is honestly not fair! Hey, losers! You wanna come and fight? There we go! Get you from the flamethrowers and throw. Oh, yeah, <laughs> a branch of bombs. <laughs> One salvo, and they're already halfway into, into the grave. That's wonderful. Okay, Talia, where was Talia? Ah, fuck, Talia went missing again. Talia, where are you? Okay, why the fuck am I supposed to destroy this if this thing was not doing anything for the entire game? Stray of Wars Class Hammer. I'm guessing that this is going to be a plot twist in the next mission. Like, this thing actually is going to be active, and I'm gonna have to probably do something with this. And I'll probably have to defend myself against this. Is that the plot twist? Is it, developers? Well, there's nothing else for me to do over here. Just claim another victory in the name of the great evil. And can you, like, wreck it? There's more sheep coming. What the fuck is wrong with this cave entrance? Thank you! The dwarven equipment spectacularly went up in flames, which was rather odd, as the creatures had only been hitting the thing with their weapons. But fine, perhaps horde weapons were made of flint. Yet the distraction provided by the dwarven intervention had shifted the destruction-loving evil's focus long enough for Talia and her stepbrother Tristan to disappear into the distance. With an imaginary sigh, the staggering evil took one last look around before setting off in pursuit. The path led to the Hellwoods, an eerie place claimed by the demonic creatures of the underworld. Good! <laughs> I'm gonna get myself more allies. They're just leading me to their own demise. There actually is more more levels. Oh, huh. interesting. Okay, well, at least I know what I'm gonna be doing, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm not going to be doing this thing in this episode because, well, for obvious reasons, I'm running out of my record time. And I don't want to squeeze too many missions into one episode. So basically, if you want to give it a try, you know what to do. Link is acceptable as always. The game is a little bit rough on the edges, but this is still Dungeons 4. If you enjoyed the previous game, you're gonna enjoy this one as well because the, the recipe is basically the same, just has a different plate. At least for now. Maybe that thing is gonna change in the future. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, though, I'm good this thing as of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the flag. Subs a lot. Hope to see you all in the next video.